A husband survives one of the most chilling cult tragedies of our time, but unfortunately loses the love of his life in today's free from the following cult survivor story. It's the mid 90s and Stephen Hill wants the American dream for his family. This and his mission to serve God lead him and his wife to one of the most surreal cults of our time, Heaven's Gate. The cult's leader, Marshall Applewhite, also known as Doe, convinced his followers that they would be saved from an earth-shattering comet by boarding a spaceship. Planet Earth about to be recycled. Your only chance to survive or evacuate is to leave with us. But first, cult members must leave their human vehicles behind. 39 people between the ages of 24 and 72 committed the largest mass suicide ever on American soil. They all belonged to a space cult that nobody heard of at that time, Heaven's Gate. The members executed their plan by drinking a lethal vodka phenobarbital cocktail. Stephen's wife Yvonne is one of those victims. As newlyweds, their lives forever changed once harassing calls from a stranger began to pose a threat to his family. We couldn't get any support socially, spiritually. Who would target a family that is trying to do good? Somebody has some answers somewhere. Stephen turns to God and the internet. You got mail. Landing on the Heaven's Gate site. Everything was in his infancy. Without any call, normally they couldn't get through because I was always on the internet. I was on a fact-finding mission. I had to come to a conclusion about what was happening. He's then recruited by the cult to assist in the production of a documentary film. If I would title this tape, it would be Last Chance to Evacuate Planet Earth Before It Is Recycled. This requires him to join and leave his family behind in Cincinnati. But his wife, Yvonne, insists on going with him. We didn't know what was going to happen. Once they arrive at the Heaven's Gate mansion, cult leaders Doe and T force the Hills to distance themselves from one another. There was absolutely no communication, period, between me and Yvonne till the end when, it was when, it when I made it the decision to leave, she decided that she wanted to stay. I felt betrayed. But Stephen's military background and his strong faith keeps him from surrendering fully to the cult's beliefs. Unfortunately, this is not the case for Yvonne. The only thoughts that I have is the preparation that I've made to separate from the vehicle. Leave it all behind. There's nothing here for me. You left your family behind to join Heaven's Gate. What initially drew you in to this cult? We were under uh, duress for the duration of our marriage. Um, actually, the day, um, the next day after the marriage, we, we, at 8 o'clock in the morning, we, re we received uh, anonymous phone calls. And this lasted for the seven-year duration of our marriage. Over a period of time, it became unbearing. We unplugged from society. With, and looking for a better pasture. And yeah. the cult, the cult folks, uh, I guess the people that's there, they use that as a, as a mechanism to draw us in. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, you were different, I'm assuming, than a lot of people that are drawn into this cult because you actually did your research. We hear that phrase a lot, but you actually did. And while you were researching Heaven's Gate, you discovered that they were actually murderers. I did do my homework before I decided to go to a place that I had no knowledge about. So I used the Internet to gain whatever information I could. And this is where we did find uh, information regarding FBI agents being murdered by this group. So you actually feel that your wife was murdered. You don't believe she committed suicide. Mm. Tell us more about that. Yes, I believe, you know, because of what was given, the word that was given to us upon leaving Cincinnati uh, by her family member, our close family member, was to, was to say that never, don't drink anything that they give you, you know, don't drink it. I mean, don't, if it's poison, don't not drink it. So I, I do know that that was the last word that was given to her. So I know at that time when they were handing out, you know, the poison, you know, the concoction, um, I do know that she had to think about that and she had to resist 
This is on the basis it was already told her to her not to do it. We have to get to the bottom line, which is you were able to leave, which is a big deal. Can you tell us about the last time that you spoke with your wife? The last time I spoke to my wife, um, we were given a given opportunity to correspond with one another. Uh, and that decision was, uh, you know, basically made uh, with her uh, and, and her response because of the brainwashing. The group was, did you want me to go tell? And that was shocking to me at the time because at that time I realized I didn't have my wife anymore. That's the hurtful thing more than anything else. I lost my wife. But, but how, were you, how were you able to leave? I had an ailment and the ailment uh, of, really was, a, it was caused by a virus and the virus um, kind of uh, mutated into a vertigo situation where I lost my balance. So I could not function within the cult group. And so that would kind of open the doorway for me to leave wow. under those circumstances. Tell us why you're here today, which I think is so brave. We have to communicate. We have to talk about what our circumstances is so that we can be better. Wow. Mm. And that's the whole point of, of communicating. Wow, and, you're, uh, still, and you're, you're still a man of faith, I hear? Yes, I, I, you know, actually, you know, I just got baptized to reconfirm. And not only, it wasn't just me, but I, my whole family, I had six people in my family get baptized. And that's the most greatest thing of all is that, you know, that, that God gets the glory. And I want to be able to testify to the whole world that. Amen. Stephen, thank you so much for joining us. Your words are so important. We look forward to the release of your upcoming documentary. It's called Last One. Please keep us posted. We'll check back in to see how you're doing. Mazel tov on all of the new uh, baptism. I'm so happy for you and your family. We'll be right back. Thank you.